everybody, Neely here, checking in. I just thought I'd do a real quick video and let you guys know how I'm doing. Um, the baby's not here yet, but she should be here any day. Um, I am almost 38 weeks on Saturday. It will be officially 38 weeks. So I'm, I'm full term. After 37 weeks, you're considered full term. So... Um, the baby could be here any time and I'm already a couple centimeters dilated and all the way effaced and having contractions, um, Braxton Hicks contractions and a few that are a little more intense than that, which is normal for me um, at the end of my pregnancy. Just have contractions all the time, which is really confusing and uh, can get my hopes up and then nothing happens and then... Anyways, just the roller coaster like it is with everybody, wondering when um, that day will come, but I know it will come, and um, we're just excited and getting ready for that. I have been having a nice quiet week this week. Uh, my husband was gone for um, work, and since I'm, you know, ready to pop at any time, I promised him that I would try and stay home as much as possible and just relax as much as possible and so that I didn't have the baby before he came back. Um, so I have just been staying home. The only thing I'm worrying about is taking care of the girls and making sure the house stays somewhat clean so that um, when the baby does come, we don't have to leave a disaster of a house and come home to a disaster of a house. Uh, so I'm just keeping up on cleaning, keeping up on feeding the girls and taking care of them. And other than that, I'm just relaxing, taking naps in the afternoon, um, doing a lot of reading, which is fun, and um, watching vlogs, which is fun, messing around on Facebook, that kind of thing. So it has been a very relaxing, quiet week. The girls have been amazing and um, just well-behaved and sweet and wonderful and helping me getting ready for... Um, baby Ruthie to come. So that's been really nice. It's just been a really good um, few days preparing my heart and my mind and my house and um, everything for the new baby to come. As far as my eating plan is concerned, I told you guys all about it in my last video and, and it's still going fantastically. I am sticking to the um, strict paleo diet with no dairy and no grains and all that kind of thing and I'm doing really well um, my cravings and hunger are still completely under control I still do um, deal with the emotional side of um, wanting to overeat or eat treats like you know sugar and stuff um, especially this past week with my husband gone I've wanted to you know uh, just because I, I usually like to eat treats when I'm by myself or um, just with the girls when he's gone I have struggled with wanting that, um, but I have found that since I'm eating only the foods that are um, really good for me hormonally, that I'm not hormonally susceptible to giving into the cravings as much. So um, I'll, you know, have the urge to, you know, get some treat or go out to eat or whatever it is, but um, it's easy to either say no to that or to um, to make a treat or to go out to eat and make really, really healthy choices when we do and have fun um, even while we're not overindulging and um, when we're eating super healthy. Like uh, we went out to Red Robin for dinner and... Um, we were able to get sweet potato french fries that were certified gluten-free, or that they say on their menu is gluten-free, and um, I was able to get a lettuce wrap burger with all the toppings that are, you know, healthy and good. We didn't have to get any soft drinks or anything, which we never do, but um, it was just, we were able to go out and we were able to have fun and have a treat and have a special time together as us girls, but we didn't have to go overboard and overeat or eat you know, less healthy things, um, but we are still able to have fun. So that's been really encouraging, just kind of living life normally, but um, doing it in a way that keeps me hormonally balanced and um, just out of the, definitely out of the binge and purge mentality. So that's been really good for me, um, just kind of living life normally without 
the obsession about food without it being on my mind, but still being able to enjoy things and um, just live life. So I'm really encouraged about that. And as far as my weight, um, so far this pregnancy, I have gained 13, a little over 13 pounds. So um, I'd say that's pretty good for almost being at the end here. I am. I feel good. I feel really healthy. I feel, even though I feel huge in my belly, I feel thin overall. Like, um, I feel lean, I guess I should, should say. And that's really encouraging um, because that's something, especially last pregnancy, I... Uh, gave in to stress eating there at the end because I, I get stressed out with the not knowing um, when it's going to happen and, you know, doing the little tricks to try and get labor started and it's just, it stresses me out and I, I definitely gave in to the stress eating um, last pregnancy and was eating all kinds of junk and it just compounded the issues um, and I, since I haven't been doing that this time, I'm feeling so much better, so much less bloated, um, just and feeling smaller, feeling thinner, feeling leaner, um, even though I'm <laughs> gigantic um, with a baby. So that um, just feels really good and, and it makes me, you know, comfortable in my body and it's just a good place to be overall. So I suppose that's all I have to share. Not really a whole lot, just relaxing, waiting, um, preparing, and um, I will continue to do that until God decides it's the right time. So um, hopefully the next vlog I make will be with baby Ruthie and you guys will all get to meet her. So I will talk to you guys again hopefully soon. Bye.